Hello, my dear students. Welcome to the subject of statistics, class 12th English medium, part 2, chapter 5, that is differentiation, presented to you by Vitan Sir. Today, we will be studying about the definition method of solving the differentiation problems. This is the formula which actually we have done in the previous tutorial. We are going to use this same equation to find the differentiated values or the derivative values for various functions using some illustrations. Illustration 1 from the textbook. We have to obtain the derivative of fx that is x with the, with the help of definition. As we know, the definition contains two equations. One is fx, that is x, and second is x plus h. So we will add h with the x here. So fx is x, fx plus h is x plus h. We will write down these values, these results in the definition equation. dy upon dx, that is f dash x, is limit h tends to 0, fx plus h minus fx upon h. Now we will put the above mentioned values in this equation. So we will get x plus h minus x upon h. As we know x plus and x minus are cancelled. So we will get limit h tends to 0 h upon h. That will give us the answer 1. So the direct answer for derivative of x is 1. We will move on to the second illustration. We have to obtain the derivative of fx which is x cube with the help of definition. Okay, first we will write down fx is x cube. Next, x plus h will be x plus h cube. Now we need to expand this equation using the theories which we have studied in either 8, 9, 10th or the 11th expansion chapter. So we will get answer x cube plus 3x square h plus 3x h square plus h cube. So these two values, x cube and the expansion of x plus h cube, we will put in our equation. The equation first we will write down as f dash x. The whole equation will be written and then we will put down the values which we obtained. Now, as you know, the x cube is positive and then at the end x cube is negative. So those will be cancelled and we will be left with 3x square h plus 3x h square plus h cube. Now, as you know, in the numerator, h is common for all the values. So we will take it out of the equation. We will get 3x square plus 3x h plus h square. The numerator x h common and the h in the denominator will be cancelled. And we will be left with these values. Now we will put down the value of limit h0 into the equation. So we will get h0 everywhere. As you know, 3x into 0 and 0 square are 0 itself. So the remaining value of our answer is 3x square. So the derivative for x cube is 3x square. Third illustration, we have to obtain derivative for x raised to n. So it's an unknown power. First, we will write down fx is x raised to n, then x plus h is x plus h raised to n. Wherever x is there, we replace them with x plus h. We don't just add h at the end, we replace x with x plus h. So if the question is x raised to n, is its x plus h variation will be x plus h raised to n. Now, there is the power is unknown, so we don't actually know how to expand this function. So, let us just try to put these values into equation as they are. Uh, we will write down the original equation here and then we will replace it with the power n. So, x plus h raised to n minus x raised to n upon h. Now, we will be using one concept of assuming t from the previous chapter here. We will assume that x plus h is t and thus h will be t minus x. This is something which we have done in the limit chapter. This is very much related with that previous chapter. So when h tends to 0, t tends to x. Now we will make these changes in our original equation. So limit t tends to x, t raised to n minus x raised to n upon t minus x. 
now we know that uh, when this kind of form is available we can directly convert it into n a raised to n minus 1 here n is n a is x so it will be n x raised to n minus 1 so the derivative for x raised to n will be n x raised to n minus 1 so that means we can take any particular value in place of n and then we will replace our answer with that particular value example we can take x raised to 5 so 5 x raised to 5 minus 1 n is 6 so 6 x raised to 6 minus 1 this kind of questions can be solved next is the illustration 4 we have to obtain derivative for root x now this will might be tricky but we will still use the same concepts of limit which we studied in the previous chapter here this is a square root question so we will be using the square root concept root x and when converted into x plus h becomes root x plus h we will put these values first of all we will write down the original definition equation here and then we will be replacing it with root x plus h minus root x upon h now in the limit chapter we studies that in the root kind of questions when there is a negative sign we multiply them with the positive signs to make it a minus b into a plus b form so x plus h root plus root x and same will be divided again now you see the numerators are a minus b a plus b form so when we multiply these two it becomes x plus h root square minus root x square these squares will cancel the roots in the numerators while in the denominator we will simply multiply we are not going to do anything extra there so when the roots are cancelled we get x plus h minus x so positive x and negative x's will be cancelled so we will be just left with h in the numerator and as you can see there is a h in the denominator we will cancel them so we will be left with limit h tends to 0 1 upon root x plus h plus root x we will take h as 0 so h will be actually removed from the equation we will get 1 upon root x plus root x as the h is 0 we will not write it so it gets us answer 1 upon 2 root x so the derivative value for root x is 1 upon 2 root x so whenever the root is included we get a somewhat different answer illustration 5 obtain derivative of 1 upon x right now the x is in the division let's see fx is 1 upon x so x plus h will be 1 upon x plus h uh, nothing different here we just have to write replace x with x plus h we will put these two values into our definition equation it will be limit h tends to 0 1 upon x plus h minus 1 upon x upon h now as you can see in the numerator we need to take an lcm x plus h will be multiplied with the right side numerator and x will be multiplied with the left side numerator and it will look something like this x minus x plus h i have written in bracket because because i haven't changed the sign between x and h the x and x plus h will be multiplied in the semi denominator h will be as it is now when i open the bracket here x plus h becomes x minus s because there is a negative sign so x minus x minus h the x into x plus h i have taken into the denominator so the next form will be x minus x is 0 so negative h upon hx into x plus h the h and h will be cancelled in the numerator i will be left with negative 1 upon x into x plus h as limit h tends to 0 we will write 0 in the place of h I will be left with negative 1 upon x into x the answer will be negative 1 upon x square so whenever we get the question 1 upon x its derivative value is negative 1 upon x square this will be the last illustration for this particular tutorial we have fx is equal to k now k is some constant value that means it is it has no relationship with x x is not there unknown value is not there k is a constant okay so whenever fx is k constant there is no x here so we can't replace it with x plus h so the answer will be again same k so fx is k then x plus h will also be k now we will put these two values into our definition equation here 
as you can see this is going to be a very small sum as fx plus h is k and fx is also k so k minus k gives you 0 so 0 upon h is again 0 so whenever there is a constant any constant in the question we directly have to write 0 the answer is 0 now uh, let us summarize all the equations and sums which we did because they are important results you can consider that i just gave you proofs of some of the forms which in the future you will be using directly it's not that whenever we get x raised to n we have to solve the whole sum to get the answer we just have to remember the direct form so i am going to summarize those direct forms here fx against f dash x so when fx is just x its derivative will be 1 you have to remember these things okay uh, in the some questions are that you have to solve it using the definition method you have to solve the whole uh, whole equation but in the next uh, tutorials which i will be teaching you guys i will be using directly these answers which are without showing any calculations so you have to remember them so derivative for x is 1 derivative for x raised to n is n x raised to n minus 1 derivative for root x is 1 upon 2 root x derivative for 1 upon x is negative 1 upon x square and derivative for k is 0 with this i end my today's tutorial your homework will be solving the exercise 5.1 if any doubts you can contact me personally uh, see you next time